What's up everybody? This is Visit Joan and today we are building the Smith family home from The Sims 2. I decided to build this house because, you know, I had so much fun building some of the other houses like the Pleasant family home and this house, you know, looked like a nice normal home. There wasn't anything weird about it. So I'm like, you know what? Why not? I might need it sometime or another. You, you do see some of the Smiths in some, um, uh, Jeez, oh god, I don't even know what I'm saying now. Stories from that fateful night. So I figured, you know, might as well. Now, as usual, the house is pretty much the same. I did make it a little bit wider because I just I just wanted them to have a little bit more space. It just it just felt like, you know, that it was kind of cramped in the living area. And especially the upstairs, because the upstairs rooms were so tiny. It was like where are you gonna fit all this stuff in this room? Where, how do I fit in this room? And I did kind of have a, uh, I was trying to decide about the things with the windows on them because they have like three windows coming out of the roof. I don't know what the heck are those are called. I think dormers might be an appropriate term, but I, I really don't know. I don't even know if I kept this in the video. I might have cut it out. But you know, I was trying to decide what to do with those because they had three of them and they were like, two tiles long and one tile wide and it looks good on the outside but on the inside it just looks stupid it's like what the heck am I supposed to do with this wide narrow space so I was just trying to decide whether to just make two of them that were four by four or just keep the three of them the way they were or make three of them that were like two by two and well not two by two maybe like two by four and I tried doing the three with the bigger width and it just didn't look centered at all. So I just pretty much scrapped that and I decided to, you know, I'll just leave it the way it was so that, you know, it looks like the same house. But I did tweak around the upstairs a little bit. The first thing I did was with, you know, Johnny's room. I didn't over decorate it. And that is because Johnny has moved out and his room is pretty much where he and his wife stay when they stay over at his parents' house. So I did, he probably would have taken most of his stuff. I did leave a few things in there. And I did switch Jill's room to the front because, like I said, the room in the back was just, like, really tiny. And they had these, like, two unfurnished rooms in the house. And it's like, wh why do you have these two unfurnished rooms where these two kids' rooms are so freaking tiny? Like, like, come on, guys. But I turned what was Jill's room into an office because they didn't really have a computer. So, I, you know, figured they would. And then the fourth room I turned into a guest room. Because, you know, when the Curious Brothers would go to their science conventions, they, you know, send Kelly and Jan over to Jenny's house. And so they sleep in the guest room for a while. The backyard is pretty much the same. It, it's got the pool. It's got the swings. It's got the deck. And I also put a bird feeder in there because BG9 is an alien. And I figured he'd probably be interested in watching some earth birds. That's pretty much, you know, the change I made to this house. I did take a little bit of liberties on the furnishings which you will see when I do that. So um, that, that's just usually what I do. But anyway, the Smith family, there's pollination technician number nine. And that is his birth name because he was an alien pollinator. He's like 100% alien. And, you know, alien society is like 1984 because they don't even give them all names. They just name them what their designated job would be. So he was an alien pollinator. He was the one that was impregnating men and you know, all that other stuff that you've seen in the Curious build, you, you go go check that out. But anyway, he decided, you know, after he was done with all of that, he decided to retire on Earth. And he took the name Smith. Well, actually, his legal name is Pete Smith. And he did that because, well, you know, it's just, it's common. I mean, nobody's gonna think twice about a guy named Pete Smith. But actually, Jenny was the one that came up with the idea. A lot of people still call him PT9. He actually is pretty much involved with the town. He's kind of like a leader in the town. And he goes to like city council meetings and stuff like that. He's not really in politics, but, you know, he does have a big influence in the town. And he is well respected, which does kind of bring some problems with some members of Strange Town because it's complicated. I'll explain later. But, you know, once he retired on Earth, he met a woman named Jenny Curious. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it's because she is the oldest curious child. Well, not quite, because you see, one of the men that ET9 pollinated was actually her father. And so she has two older half-sisters who are twins, who are alien-human hybrids. And, well, PT9 and Jenny, they did get married. So they're also her stepdaughters. 
Yeah, I know, I know. It, it, it's enough to cause you a headache, but you know what? Just, just don't, don't, don't worry about that for now. Um, Jenny, she, her favorite color is green, which really makes sense. She's completely 100% human and she work. she's a nurse and she's the sole provider for the family because PT9 doesn't bring in a pension. I don't know how that works on alien society. Maybe, I, I don't know. I'm not making that up. It, 1984, like I said. Anyway, she, you know, she really loves her family and PT9 really loves his family too. He was the one who pretty much stayed home and taught almost everybody how to do everything, like help them learn and stuff like that. But, you know, Jenny, she really wishes she could quit her job and spend more time with her family, but she can't because she's the only one providing for the family. So together, they had two children. The oldest is Johnny. Now, when you start the game The Sims 2, Johnny is just about to become an adult. He's actually moved out of the house and is kind of like fresh out of college. And he married his high school sweetheart. And her name is Ophelia. And a little bit about Ophelia. She's really paranoid. And as for her backstory, let's put it this way. You don't want to know. I'm serious. If you don't already know, you don't want to. Like, that. that's all I'm going to say. It, no. Okay. So anyway, Johnny, he inherited his father's skin tone, the green skin tone that, you know, is a telltale sign that somebody is an alien human hybrid. But he has his mother's eyes and his mother's facial features. So, you know, he, he does stick out, but it's strange. Town. You know, nobody cares. There's like, there's, compared to other towns, there's so many of the alien human hybrids in that town. It, it's just like, oh yeah, you know, there's somebody there. And, you know, he was like, to Jill, Kelly, and Jan, he was like my cousin Dan in how he was the cool one and they all pretty much worshipped the ground he walked on. The second child, Jill, looks more like her mother. She has a completely human appearance aside from some of her father's facial structure. And she's a, she's a teenager, she's in high school, and she really wants to be a marine biologist. And that is because, you know, when she was younger, she actually wanted to be, it was a more specific career, like a deep sea welder. I don't even think those jobs even exist anymore. Like, I, I really don't know. But, you know, she also really, really loves dolphins. And so she really hopes to be a marine biologist someday. And, you know, I realized the other day that the Smith family, they're the normal ones in town. Because everybody else in this town is nuts. It's, like I said, it's strange town. Alien abductions happen pretty much all the time. So it's not that big of a deal that, you know, there's alien human hybrids in the town. However, this does cause some problems with some other town members, specifically a guy named Buzz Grunt. Now, Buzz is the general in charge of the Strange Town military base. And, you know, Strange Town is basically a science town. But before that was huge, there was still, you know, high presence of scientists. The main reason people came in town was the military base. And just in case you didn't know, this guy, he, he's like obsessed with the military, but he also does not like aliens and he does not like the fact that they're in Strange Town because he's a jerk. So basically he does not like PT9 at all and it kind of started a feud and it escalated to the point where there was a full on brawl between the two. And this happened before Kelly was born when Jill was like two but Johnny pretty much remembers it pretty well. So Johnny tells the story to everybody, you know, everyone that wants to hear the story. And and Johnny also has like a little rivalry going on with another member of that household. I don't know if we're going to be doing that household, but you know, it, it might be something I do in the future. I don't know. I haven't made any plans for that yet. But anyway, you guys, that is the Smith family in a nutshell. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out That Fateful Night. Link is down in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!